you know this whole new fad about a pescatarian diet? Well, our Bengali bandhus have been doing it since forever. They love to have fish and some even claim to have it in breakfast, lunch and dinner. But turns out, Bengali's love for fish has a number of health benefits too. Number 1. Fish is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. They are a jewel among nutrients and boost health in a number of ways. 2. Fish is not as weight-inducing as, say, red meat. In fact, a study conducted over 5 years reports that weight gain in women was smallest when they were vegans or fish eaters as opposed to meat eaters. 3. A pescatarian diet is a widely admired nutritious lifestyle. Firstly, a pescatarian is a vegetarian who eats fish. That's like the best of both worlds. So, because of the added benefits of fish, which is a storehouse of omega-3, there's a reduced risk of diabetes, heart disease, type 2 diabetes and more. In fact, fish is one of the best things you can eat for your heart. 4. Fish contains iodine, protein, vitamins, minerals, even the tough to find vitamin D. An article in Hindustan Times mentions that almost 40% Indians are deficient in vitamin D. The body naturally makes vitamin D from sunshine. But even though we live in a country with abundant sunshine, so many people are deficient in this easily found vitamin. Fish can be a good dietary choice for someone with vitamin D deficiency. 5. Fish has also been linked to a reduced risk of asthma in kids. And no, you don't necessarily have to swallow a live fish like Amir Khan did in Dil Chata Hai. Just eat the fish, cooked the normal way for the benefits to kick in. 6. Eating fish once a week may also reduce the risk of stroke or Alzheimer's in those of an advanced age. But hey, there's something else about fish that you should know. A number of fish types have mercury in them. This is a result of water pollution. While normal amount of mercury is there in everything we eat, fruits, veggies, eggs, high doses of mercury can cause brain and nerves damage in infants, and even adults. So, should you stop eating fish and as a result, cut yourself off from its many health benefits too? Well, for starters, you can avoid consuming that fish which is known to have high levels of mercury in them. Like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, big-eyed tuna, canned tuna, etc. A Harvard analysis suggests that the levels of mercury in fish need to be put in perspective and that more than 90% of PCBs actually come from non-fish sources. So, you don't really have to say fish off to the fish. Keep watching this space for more such videos.